Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolay the Zedon. I'm your host, Shadow Fury 333, with a few exhibition matches for you, as usual. First off, we're going to have 400 and Shaman on Titan Duel. So, 400 we saw in the last tournament did fairly well, actually. They. I need to look at the turn. I think. I should have actually looked that up. I. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they. I feel like they won. I recall them winning, and. Yeah, indeed. 400 and Zen for... No, they got second place. Black Dutchings to Gero won. 400 and Zen for got second place. Which is pretty impressive. So yeah, 400. Quite good in teams. Let's see how they are in 1v1. So going for the Light Vagal Factory, while Shaman goes for the Hovercraft Factory, which on this map is not at all unusual. And 400 already getting a bit of a scouting advantage. Both players do know the factories, but 400 able to get far more information about the bases and not lose a lot either. It looks like one dart will manage to get in unscathed. While Shaman won't really be able to get a dagger in without it dying. Which, of course, defeats the purpose of it getting in. So that kind of ends that. So one dart in. The other one. Close enough to get some... Oh, wow. That is wonderful positioning. Is Shaman even aware? No, Shaman's not even aware that the dart's there. And it can see right into the Hovercraft factory. So 400 has perfect information right now about production. Shaman has nothing. Or nearly nothing. They actually, I think, might be... Ooh, just barely, yes. Just barely close enough. But they're also exposed. Whereas, 400 was... Oh, 400 had perfect vision. They lost it. They moved their dart a little bit too far. They, however... Ooh, oh, that's such a perfect situation. That is... Ooh, that is hard. I mean, I can see why they wouldn't attack with the Scorcher there to get rid of the Quill. There was a bit of a timing where it could have worked out, but not quite enough. And that Scorcher commits suicide. Getting rid of one Metal Extractor, not a huge big deal. And these two Metal Extractors to the north taking a lot of damage. So, didn't quite work out ideally. I mean, 400 still has some vision, not much. Just compared to what they had, that perfect vision they had of the, hover, of the main factory. Especially with everything being built. I mean, scalpels, but still, it's good to know that you have scalpels coming down the line. Granted, slashers are already being built, so it's fine. That being said, against Scalpels, I personally would go for Ravagers, but I think Slashers would work. I mean, compare ranges. The Slasher range is definitely longer, because they have 600 range, as opposed to the 450 of the Scalpel. So that is a bit of an advantage. However, for straight-up attacks, Ravagers win. I don't, like, Slashers, it feels like it's going to be a matter of the Slash will fire off a few shots, the Scalpel will come in, the Scalpel will, well, two-shot the Slasher. Yeah, it would be good to know that those Scalpels are coming. That's just simple, simply put, that dart being up there would have been far more productive than having gone further down. That being said, I think there's still no radar. Shaman has no radar. That was still, that's an open spot. Oh, man, it sucks. No dart can ever get there again. The opportunity's lost, but there was that brief period. And Shaman, on the other hand, doing a number on 400's base. Four daggers coming in here, two-shotting every single metal extractor. The leveler... Ooh, that was a nice leveler shot, but still, it's a little late. The amount of damage dealt so far, I mean, 400 has basically no economy, and Shaman has plus 15. Not enough energy to make it work. They're e-stalling a bit, but they still do have plus 15 metal. So, you know, get a couple more... Are you going to get a couple more power plants? No, apparently not. Shaman apparently perfectly happy to e-stall and ultimately metal excess. Little odd. I would have expected to have a little bit more power, but sometimes it happens. Anyhow, 400 once again rebuilding their main base. So Shaman getting ahead as a result of all that destruction. All that raiding. Very good raiding. The daggers are paying off. At this point, 400... And I think they're trying to just set up slashes for the mobile defender aspect. Not a terrible idea, it's just not really good enough. It's not really working out in this case. I mean, with enough of them, I imagine it would work okay, but that's... That's gonna take a few more, three or four more at least. And Shaman going in for yet another attack. Getting slightly deterred by the leveler, but once the scalpel gets in there, that leveler's gonna have no chance. And here's Scalpel, Scalpel versus Slasher. Like I said, Slasher gets a few hits in, and Scalpel... Oh, one-shots. I... Wow, I had that habit in my head. Nope, that's a one-shot. Slashers are totally dead. 
There is no chance there. And of course the scalpel just gets rid of that. Levelers doing a nice job against the daggers as they should, but still, this is massive losses for 400. 400 basically has... They have to completely change their tactic right now. Like I said, Ravagers are what I would go for in this situation. Like, I see daggers, I see scalpels, I go Ravager. Because Ravager has speed and has the resilience to deal with all this crap. But I don't see 400 doing that. 400 very much dead set on slashers. The scalpels, we already saw it. That gets rid of it. That's a one-shot kill. And the daggers don't really worry about it either. There's so many of them that it doesn't matter. Like, you'd need a half a dozen slashers just to pose a threat. And the daggers would come in and just rip them apart. So at this point, yep. Another slasher down. And another slasher about to go down. I mean, that scalpel is going to get three or four kills before it finally goes down. Assuming it keeps itself in harm's way. It might just retreat. I mean, why not? There's no reason to keep going forward. Slasher going in for the raiding. Because who doesn't like raiding slashers? I mean... The ones that actually do their job, at least. Okay, so that was a scouting slasher. That was that's what it was doing. It was it was trying to figure out what was going on. Didn't really care about dying. A little bit late in the game for that to happen, mind you. But you know it happened. Shaman setting up a gunship plant. They'll probably win the game at this rate before the gunship plant even comes up. I I don't really want to say that because that's kind of on hype. But it is pretty clearly the case. The amount of daggers on the field right now. 10 daggers compared to one leveler and one slasher. Yeah. Yeah, that's not really encouraging. It, it really isn't. The levelers, I mean, making a valiant effort there, but not enough. So yeah, that's basically going to be it. These daggers are going to come through, probably rip everything apart. I think 400 is probably going to throw in the towel once these daggers come into their base. I mean, the leveler's doing a nice job. They got the numbers down to nine. Yeah, that's... I mean, it killed like three or four. There was like a dozen there, but still. Hey, the gunship plant's done, though. We'll actually possibly see gunships before the game's out. I kind of doubt it, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's like... People in chat, Sprang and Orphili is pointing out in chat that light vehicles kind of hooped. They're not totally hooped. I think Ravager's probably a better than they're giving it credit for. But yeah, it's difficult. Scalpels are a tough opponent to fight. Like, the only other thing I could possibly think of is flooding them with darts and waiting until they run out. But at the same time, we aren't seeing many scalpels anymore. We're seeing halberds. And the halberd switch is interesting because it basically means the levelers get used up and then fired down upon and killed. Not that they were... have Not that 400 was really doing well against the scalpels to begin with, but yeah... Really, it's more so base assault, destroy all this, probably get rid of the defenders to allow everything else to come in, and then that's gonna be game. One defender down, the second defender should be going down very shortly. It looks like the halberds are just dealing with all this stuff directly. Who needs another force? Just kill it with halberds. And that's exactly what's happening. I think 400's probably just gonna throw in the towel at this point. I would be surprised if they held on. Nice Scorcher coming in there, getting a bit of damage dealt, but that's, that's it. These halberds have completed their mission, all the defenses are down, the radar is going to go down just as a bonus, and with that down, daggers can move in with impunity. All two of them. Still, that was a very good assault. Halberds pretty much doing all the damage. And able to escape too. Not much that can be done about it. They have their armor, they don't need to fire anymore, they're done. They're out of there, and instead, Rapier is taking their place, which will finish the job. And Halberd Drops, apparently, are now going to be a thing. Just to finish this game off. Yeah, there's not much, really, defense-wise. One Lotus for 400. Their commander, not really threatened in any way. But, just in case, getting rid of the last two Halberds. Now their commander is threatened. And the commander... Yeah, okay. Looks like that's exactly what Shaman's going for. Yep, just getting rid of the commander. Why not? I mean, that gets rid of half of 400's economy and eliminates pretty much most of their build power. So the commander down, that's pretty... Seriously, 400 is being remarkably resilient here. But I don't know what they can do. There we go. Okay. They resigned. Waiting until their commander died, apparently. So yeah, that was... 400 never really got off the ground there, did they? 
They had a nice scouting opportunity too, and then they would have seen the scalpels, and... I don't know what they would have done, because they wouldn't have gone for Ravagers. I would have gone for Ravagers myself. But yeah. Hey. <sighs> oh, and the drop is apparently for the Claymore, not for the everything else. Sorry guys, that didn't happen. I'm not sure, I mean, Claymore is they... I thought they only shot underwater. Yeah. I guess the idea would be to target in the water and then move them and then have them explode right there. <sighs> anyway, that was... That was a remarkable demonstration of the power of the Hovercraft Factory and particularly the scalpels in the Hovercraft and Light Vehicle matchup. Next game is going to be a demonstration of spiders on Badlands with Dynefriend versus Aquanim, and I know it's spiders because I just played Dynefriend 20, oh, an hour ago, and... Yeah... Spiders on Badlands. Good factory for the matchup. I mean, good map for the fact... Yeah, good map for the factory. So, that'll be next. Stay tuned. It'll be up in a couple minutes.